Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another Airport Briefings video. These videos are designed to give you a full comprehensive brief about the airport and going over everything that you'd need to know just as pilots would do in real life. These videos will give you information such as the preferred runways that are available, any operating restrictions, threats to be aware of and of course we'll then have a look at the different arrivals as well. In today's video, we're looking at one of my favourite destinations and that is Athens. The airport peaked in 2019 with passenger numbers getting close to around 26 million. And at the time this video has been filmed in July 2022, they're already close to 12 million and that was the total number for the previous year. Of course, Covid having a huge effect. Aegean Airlines is the biggest carrier here out of Athens and they serve different destinations all over Europe. There are two runways here at Athens, 03 left, 03 right and of course then 21 left and 21 right. When 03 is in use, landings take place on 03 left with the departures 03 right and the opposite is true when 21 is in use, landing is 21 left and departures 21 right. 21 left is 4,000 meters and 21 right is 3,800 meters. Of course, these are the full lengths, but it means that auto brakes are not a necessity when landing here. 03 left and 03 right will always be in use up to a tailwind component of five knots. There is terrain to the north and west of the airport and the minimum safe altitude when departing from 03 is 7,000 feet. Every runway has an ILS approach or a VOR approach and they're the standard 3 degrees. The VOR approach is slightly steeper, but not often used. There are standard instrument arrivals to all runways, but if you are flying on the VATSIM network, be prepared for ATC to pull you off the start early, which could reduce your track mileage. There are several VORs around the airport which will help with your situational awareness, including the Sierra Papa Alpha VOR located just at the threshold to runway 03 right. For departing aircraft, it is a noise abatement 1 departure procedures. The SIDs also usually have a speed restriction as well, so pay attention to the charts for those. The transition altitude is 9000 feet and each standard instrument departure usually has a slightly different initial climb. Due to the terrain surrounding the airport, the engine out procedures are all non-standard. Aircraft departing on runways 03 are all given a non-standard engine out procedure to the Kilo Echo Alpha VOR. Aircraft departing on runways 21 are given a non-standard engine out procedure to the Echo Golf November NDB. That concludes our airport briefing for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions regarding this airport, then please do feel free to leave a comment down below. If you found this series useful, please check out the other videos in the series. And of course, leave a like and hit that subscribe button, turning on the notifications bell so you don't miss future content and live streams. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.